I do a resort to each one and it's now Monday the 4th of November, I think. I'm quite a bit through Wonder now, I've only got this little bit left. I'm on page 236, I'm probably definitely going to finish this tonight. Um, it's about 20 past 10pm so I'll definitely finish this before tonight. Um, I'm sorry I haven't vlogged at all today, I honestly still feel kind of shitty with my period, I don't know what it is. I don't think there's like anything else to update you on. I not long ago cried at this again. Uh, if you saw the last vlog, I, at the end I did cry. Um, but now being towards the end, I did cry again. <laughs> so, since I will finish this tonight, I've got my little lantern, my skull lantern, and I'm gonna pick out another book for my next one. Oh, one just flew out, we'll put that back in and do it again. Uh, let's see which one it is. Right. What is it? Oh, it's uh, the Creep from the Deep. Uh, it's my Goosebumps Horrorland series book for uh, a creepier atmospheric uh, book. So, yay. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I'll read that pretty fast. I'll probably read that whole thing tomorrow. So, um, yeah. I think I'll probably be doing this again tomorrow. <laughs> Since it's such a short book, but that's fine. Um, but I'm going to go for tonight and I'll let you know what rating I give this in the morning. Let you know how I feel about it. Uh, good night. Hi guys, it's now Tuesday. It's just coming up for like quarter past one, I think. I read quite a bit of this last night. I read probably like over halfway. Uh, I've finished the main story, uh, this part, and I'm gonna wait to go into the end Horrorland part. So. I'm gonna wait to read that. I'll probably come back once I've finished it because there's not all that much left. There's like nine chapters, so I'm gonna quickly read that. Uh, but first, um, I did end up finishing uh, this, of course, because I've like got over halfway in that. But um, I ended up giving it five stars just because it got such a reaction out of me, especially like in the last vlog when I cried. Um, but yeah, uh, 5 out of 5 stars. It was so sweet. I loved it. Yeah. It's just cute. I like Augie. Augie's awesome. I'll, I'll go finish this and then I'll let you know uh, how I feel about it and what rating I give it when I come back. Hi guys. It's not that much later but I, I finished it. Yay. It's all done. I, I'm, I think I'm gonna give it, give it four stars. It was definitely better than the first one because uh, this is the second one in the Horrorland series. It was better than the first one. Um, yeah, I definitely got like, it definitely got my heart racing a little bit so that's really cool. Um, it just, it's really nostalgic for me reading Goosebumps. So. I never did read Horrorland though when I was younger. I don't know when these Horrorland books came out, but I do remember reading like some of the originals. So, but that now marks me reading three of my Believe Them books. Yay! So excited! But I'm so happy with that. But I need to do this again. I need to pick another book. Okay. Got it. Oh, I scrubbed it out. What is it? Ooh. It's Paddington Turns Detective. Yay. Okay. Uh, I'll probably finish that today also because it's so small. <laughs> Here it is. Yay. Uh, yeah, it's like a world birthday one. 
Uh, it's really small, so I'll definitely finish that also today, so... <laughs> uh, that's really cool. I'm catching up really fast. There's not that many pages. Uh, there's about 90 or so pages, so this should be pretty quick to read. Cool. Yay! Okay, so I'm gonna have to do my little thing again later because <laughs> the books I'm picking are pretty small, but that's okay. Um, tomorrow is Roll Dal Day, so all day tomorrow is I'm gonna be reading Roll Dal books. So I've got f I've got four to read, I think, but I'm gonna go just now, and I'll let you know when I finish this and pick another book. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Hi guys, uh, I know I look bald right now but my hair's just in a clip right now because I've had a shower. Uh, I did finish uh, Paddington, uh, turns de de Paddington Turns Detective. Uh, it, there was three stories in one. I definitely think the detective won the first one was the best out of the three of them, but that's fine. Uh, I don't know, it was more nostalgic than anything else. Uh, I'm gonna give it three stars. It was still really cute. I love Paddington, always will. Uh, but I'm gonna have to pick another book. <laughs> so let's see what it is. Of course, I pick the one book that is not on my TBR. It was, it's a little vampire. <laughs> oh no. That was the book that I got uh, in the last vlog. You saw that in the last vlog. I did I manage to get the little vampire because it was my favorite movie as a kid. But it's not a part of my original TBR. I just thought I'd put it in there just for fun. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. Um, I, well, this my next book, even though it's not part of my TBR, but never mind. I'll still read it. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, I, I wanted to read it, so yeah. I'm gonna have to see if this movie is on like Prime or Netflix so I can watch it. I haven't watched Wonder yet, but I will. Um, I'll need to check see if this is on anywhere but okay it's my next book I'm just exporting my like la last week's vlog um, so it can go up because I forgot to do it yesterday uh, I was too busy reading I just went right over my head and I didn't realise it was Monday so I'm going to do it now <laughs> I'll get that fixed and then I'll come back and let you know if I read any more of this and when the vlog goes up. I'll need to tweet out that that vlog will go up and stuff because it does involve believe a so since it was the start of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm having fun so far. I think this is the most I've read in like a while. <laughs> so that's good. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Hi guys, it's about quarter to midnight. Um, my vlog is up. I will link it in the description. I usually link my previous vlog in the description if you're, you know, you want to watch it or whatever. I did read some of The Little Vampire. Uh, I got to... I'm about to start chapter 6, page 39, so... Not too far in, but... It's a lot different than the movie um i guess because this is such a short book they needed to add things in um to be able to make a full length movie so i understand that but it's just weird but so far i'm liking it you know it still has parts where it's like oh yeah i remember you know so it's really cool yeah liking it so far there's some really cool illustrations in here Yeah, kind of creepy illustrations like graveyards and stuff. <laughs> so I do like it. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, I'm probably going to read some more tonight. Uh, and I'll let you know how far I get in the morning. I know that tomorrow is Roald Dahl Day. So 
looking forward to that. I'll be reading all the Roald Dahl books. Well, four, but never mind. I can't wait, so I'm super excited. I haven't read, like, Roald Dahl properly in so long. So, yeah, I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Hi guys, it's just about 10 past 2pm. I just finished my first two Roald Dahl books. Uh, George's Marvelous Medicine and SEO Trot. Uh, SEO Trot was my favourite. I think it was my favourite one from my childhood, other than the twits. I gave George's one um, three stars and SEO Trot four. So. And they were a lot of fun. Those are kids books, you can't really take them too seriously, so you're just reading them for fun. So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed them, so that's cool. I'm gonna wait and move on to the Enormous Crocodile. So, I'll probably come back once I've finished that one and let you know how I feel about it. But I will talk to you later. Okay, guys, it's literally not even 15 minutes later and I've already finished it. I didn't realise this one was a lot more like a children's book than some of the other ones are so I was like racing through it it was like barely like 50 pages long so I was like okay <laughs> I just sat and read the whole thing but uh, I ended up giving it three stars it was I actually was laughing out loud at this for some reason I don't know why I found it funny I just did so like, that's really cool so that's three rolled that books down um my last book that I've picked, uh, that I've got, is The Twits. And I'm pretty sure this was one of my favourites, like SEO Trot as a kid, so. Yay! I, I, I'm pretty sure I've read this quite a few times. <laughs> I haven't done it in years, but yeah. So I'm probably going to wait to go have some lunch and then get back to reading. <laughs> but I'll, I'll talk to you later, probably once I've finished it. <laughs> Hi guys, it's... Uh, Right about like half five, I think. Uh, but about a half hour ago, I finished the twits. Yay! Yes, super happy about that. Um, it, <laughs> I again, I ended up laughing at this because it was so funny. It's like so nonsensical that it's hilarious. Basically, is what I'm saying. But yeah, <laughs> again, I enjoyed it. I think I don't. I didn't enjoy it as much as I I remember enjoying it. So. I think I'm just going to give it three stars. It was still really funny though, so that's cool. But I'm going to have my supper. And then I don't think I'll read another Roald Dahl book today, but I would like to finish The Little Vampire though. That's like my next to-do thing. I'm going to go and I'll let you know how far I get in with The Little Vampire. Or if I finish it. <laughs> I hope so. Hi guys, it's just gone half nine. I just did an hour long readathon with the Leavathon, so I just done that. Uh, and it helped me finish The Little Vampire, so it's finished. So I read four whole Roald Dahl books and finished the majority of The Little Vampire today, so that's really good. I'm actually really happy with that. That's cool, okay. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, but I need to do my little uh, random pick again. I've got it right here. Let's shake it a bit. There's not that many left. <laughs> That's weird. I know that the classics weekend, I think, is this weekend. I think. I'm not sure. Let's see. It's. <gasps> Ooh! It's a. Uh... A Place Called Perfect by Helena Duggan. Yay! Okay, uh, I've been looking forward to reading that, so that's really cool. Yay! Cool. Awesome. Uh, happy with that. Um, I'll go get it just now. Okay, here it is. Yay! Okay, cool. Uh, yay! Super excited to read it. It looks really cool. So, there's like just over like 350 pages, so that's not too bad. Okay, it should take me like two or three days, so that's cool. Especially with the way up at reading, so it won't take me that long. So I'm just gonna go for tonight and, and I'll let you know if I read any of this in the morning. Yes. Uh, good night. Hi guys, it's now Thursday. Um, I did actually read some of this last night. Um, I wasn't sure if I would or not, but I did. 
and I'm now up to chapter 7, page 63, so I think I got to about 50 pages last night and I have read a little bit today, so uh, so far so good. I'm really intrigued by it, I really really like it. I, I wasn't sure if I would, but yeah, I'm actually really enjoying it. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm super happy that I'm, I'm liking it. Um, I, I sure as hell hope so because uh, I bought all three of them. So I think I'm going to go have something to eat and then uh, I'll probably read more. <laughs> but I'll let you know later uh, how much I do read of this. Hi guys, it's uh, about 10 to 11 p.m. and I have read more of A Place Called Perfect. I'm now on chapter 16, uh, page 134, so I think I'm over like a quarter of the way, uh, probably close to a third of the book done, so just this, yeah, so about a third, I've read about a third, so that's not too bad, but I'm hoping that I do finish it tomorrow, because Saturday and Sunday is Classics Weekend, and I'll be reading Holes by Lewis Setcher or something like that, I can't remember his name, but yeah. I'll be reading that for the weekend, so I'm hoping to finish this tomorrow. Uh, it should start to pick up now, hopefully. Uh, I'm definitely um, invested in this story. I love the characters. I don't know, I just really, really like the story. It's... I like the darkness, even though it is a middle grade. And it's creepy and yeah, I really like it. I love the atmosphere. Yeah. But I'm going to go for tonight because it's late. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Hi guys. Um, I'm trying to be really, really quiet because it's actually currently 10 past 2 a.m. on Saturday morning. Like Friday night, Saturday morning. Um, but... I just finished a place called Perfect and oh my god I mean honestly 5 out of 5 stars I I honestly don't have words uh, which is weird I'd never thought I'd give a children's book or middle grade 5 out of 5 stars and I honestly can't wait to read the second book I love Violet and Boy. I, I, I just love the book. So yeah, 5 out of 5 stars. Oh my god, I just love the story. Well, technically it's already started, but uh, today's Saturday and Sunday is Classics Weekend. And I'll be reading Holes by Lewis Sutter. Um, I have watched the movie so I kind of know what it's about but it was a while ago so but I'm looking forward to reading it but I'm gonna go because it is so late um I honestly just couldn't put uh, a place called perfect down I just needed to finish it and I was like just one more chapter one more chapter I'm so tired just one more and then I next I knew I was like literally one chapter from the end and I was like well might as well just finish it so and now it's like 10 past 2 in the morning, but never mind. I haven't done that in a while, so that was cool. <laughs> it was worth it. But I'm gonna go and I will talk to you properly in the morning. Good night. Hi guys, it's after 6 p.m. Um, I'm sorry I haven't vlogged at all today so far, but uh, I've been reading holes. Uh, by Lois Satcher. Um, I'm actually quite far through it. I've read that bigger chunk. I'm on chapter 31, page 141. And I just uh, logged that Goodreads and it says it's like 60% of the way through. So, yay. Uh, I'm hoping to finish it today because I'll be helping the same person uh, to move more stuff tomorrow. So I don't know how much I'll read tomorrow, so I'm trying to finish this today. So far, it's exactly like the movie, you know, so it, it's the same story, but it's still really good. I'm still enjoying it, so that's good. But I'm gonna go have some supper.
and then I'll come back later on to let you know how much I read of this. And I do also plan on filming uh, later as well, so I'll let you know if I do that. <laughs> I'll talk to you later though. Hi guys, it's uh, half one in the morning now, but I just finished Holes by Lou Sutcher, yay. Um, I really enjoyed it, it's basically it's just a copy of the movie, well the movie's a copy of this basically, but yeah, I, I still really enjoyed the story. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I liked it, I really liked it, I gave it four stars, but I need to do my random pick because... I finished my classic for the classics weekend, so I don't have anything to read for tomorrow on Sunday. Well, technically today, but I'll do that now. Okay, I've got my thing. There's like only four left or something. Right, got my hand. Um, a bear called Paddington. I think it's the first in the Paddington books. Uh, that's for my, like, a childhood favourite or something like that. A uh, personal childhood favourite. So, that's really nice. But I have that on audiobook, on script. So I'm going to pick another one. Because uh, the only books I have left is one ebook and the rest is physical. So I'm going to pick another one so I get something. <gasps> Yay! Frost Tower! It's the group book. Oh my god, I'm super excited to read this. Oh my god, finally. I was going to wonder, I was wondering when I was going to get this. Okay, that's really cool. So uh, I'm going to listen to Paddington. I think it's barely like two hours long. It's not long at all. And I'll read physically Frost Heart. I'm really looking forward to Frost Heart. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to go for tonight because it's so late. And I will talk to you tomorrow. I don't know how much I'll be able to film or read because I am helping move, someone move again. But uh, I will update you uh, whenever I can. Good night. Hi guys, it's now 10 to 10 p.m. on Sunday night. Um, I did mention yesterday uh, that I didn't think I would be able to film much today and I haven't because I've been helping uh, someone move, but that's fine. But on the way home, I did manage to listen to 27% of A Bear Called Paddington. Uh, it's the first in the Paddington books, so I managed to get to 27%, so that's good. Uh, I have not physically read Frost Heart yet. Um, I think I probably will for a little while now, but I do have to go to bed early because I have to get up early because I'm going to see my sister, so. Um, and my mum has to take her fiance at work, so we have to go kind of early in the morning. So I'm going to read a little bit of this to settle down. I've just had a candle burning, uh, so it's nice uh, and cosy in here. Uh, so I'm going to read a bit of that and then go to bed. Um, I'm super tired. I barely got any sleep last night. As you saw, I was still up at stupid o'clock in the morning because I filmed. Uh, I was supposed to film yesterday and today. Uh, I was going to film once I come home, but it was kind of too late at that point. Um, and yesterday I ended up having like an IBS flare up, so uh, it wasn't really the best idea to film. I wasn't in the best of moods. But <laughs> while I was sat in the bathroom, feeling pretty gross. I got a Twitter notification <laughs> that my post that I had posted about a place called Perfect by Helena Duggan. <laughs> I can't even contain like my happiness. She liked my post and I'm pretty sure she retweeted it and then she commented saying thank you and then liked a few of my other posts about believe a -thong. And I'm like, my brain was blown. And it turned my shitty day into an amazing day. 
and today whenever I felt a bit mm, I just think of that and I'm I'm happy again and I can't stop smiling and then also while I was out helping um there was a post that uh Steph she created supernatural uh she thinking did a tweet uh asking someone had said like what are the people that you've met online but not in real life that you think you would like get along with and she tagged me <laughs> I'm like this is so sweet I would definitely probably get along with her too that would be definitely yes oh everybody is so nice I think booktube has been the best decision I've ever made so yeah <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm in a pretty good place right now I'm pretty happy um, yeah, I just can't stop smiling, uh, but I'm gonna go for tonight because it is so late and this is actually the end of this vlog, uh, I hope you enjoyed, uh, my Goodreads Twitter and Instagram are in the description as always, uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time, bye! <laughs>